Next movie, The Worst Witch. Now this movie was created way long time ago, but I did watch this back in the 90s around Halloween. It's based on a children's book with the same name by Jill Mertens, The Worst Witch. This was one of the first movies that introduced me to the most fantastic actor ever, Tim Curry. The story begins with, let's see, her name is, oh yes, Mildred Hubble. Lots of trouble, as they would say. Waking up, causing it, and yes, it's a musical. Waking up every single one with the bell, trying to stop the bell, and she got in trouble with Miss Hardbroom. And singing a song explaining how it would take a long time to ever study to be a proper witch. And as it begins with the music and all that, we see we see Miss Hardbroom get in the class for the for the test to make a laughter potion, which would come to anything a laughter potion is to make everyone laugh. But during that time, explaining the black and post and all that. The next part, we see two witches outside the dome, outside the Cackle Academy. The sister of Miss Cackle Academy, Miss Cackles. And believe me, she really wants to school. She had the right to come to the school. But she's like Scar. The oldest gets what they want, and the youngest don't. <laughs> okay. Then she sings how much how she wants and her be her school and all that. Well, as Miss Hubbo and her friend Maud Moonshine tried to make a laptop potion, and she got the weed at midnight. Everyone started giggling as soon as they got their drink, and they have, all the potions are all pink. As for Mildred, is green. Oh no, here it comes. Hadbroom comes to all of them and they're laughing, and unfortunately, Mod Moonstein and Noted Hubble's potion was green. They turned invisible. Wow, they made an invisible potion. Not a laughter potion, invisible, and got in trouble. And it's hard for saying that. And all of them went laughing. They couldn't control their laughing and they got out of there. And their visibility and all that. And she says, I got them the weed after midnight. Then it was disappointing, but as usual, you are Mildred Hubble. Lots of trouble. And as they started getting back to their own selves, though, as she was sent to see Mrs. Cackle, who was having a conversation with her niece, who is driving on a broom with a telephone on it, which is kind of bad. If anyone knows how to fly, you can't have a phone on your broom. Also explained, oh, Mildred, what am I going to do with you? You've tried so many, I've tried so many times to get you to do it, and you always fail. you got to try a bit harder, Mildred. I'll try Miss Cackle. But then, then ding dong, the, the niece of her came and, and she was just wow she's like wow her outfits are really cool outfits very cool outfits I would say then while well, the class went on and on with their usual tendencies then the next night that night we see them talking about the day that they're gonna get their kittens the little black the little fur ball they're excited how much they're gonna have a wonderful Halloween but Mildred is like she feels like she's just miserable she's not gonna do everything right but then Martin Moose the surgery, you will do everything right. You just need to make sure you have confidence. And then Miss Hardwood came in. If you keep staying up that way, you won't ever have your kittens. And she scared them off to sleep. Then the next morning, all the girls lined up and sat together. First year to the second year, waited to get their kittens. But during the time when they were singing the infamous song of having kitties, which they are adorable, then the witches, as in the evil ones, Kako's sister Agatha plotted to take over the academy and with a song and then in my little school And as we see the part where they all got adopted their own little baby kittens, unfortunately the last kitten is a uh, gray striped tabby that goes for Mildred. But Mildred loved her and it's a sweet little kitten. Sweet little kitten and all that. And yes, there are several songs in the sound, but the biggest one is Tim Curry, but we'll get to that soon. In any case, as soon as they got the kitten and all that, that's adorable. Me and my tabby, little girl, little cutie. 
Then she tried to fly her cat in a bag, but couldn't. I mean, try to fly her cat on a broom because she, Tabby didn't like that. He, she hated heights. Which she not fell as usual and got hurt and always. Her, her niece, I mean, Miss Cackles, Miss Cackles niece decided to let her have her cat or satchel, but that only for one day only. And as they're listening, try, she tried to fly, but Tabby's like, no, don't want to fly, don't want to fly, and she bangs into the bell, bang, 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 and started that the lessons were over. As soon as they got to lunch, Mildred Hubba was trying to enjoy her lunch until the nastiest, spoiledest brat, who I ever hate in this, the book and movie. Ugh. Ethel Hollow. And they both blow a piece of food and water and Connor a pig. But then she got laughed at when she dripped, uh, fell over someone and there was ketchup on it, but it was blood. Honestly, poor Miss, H poor Miss Hubble going to do that so much times. And then it was time for a game of scare tag tactics. And each team would have won. And of course, in the end, Miss Ethel Hollow won the game because she cheated with a mad and he wasn't supposed to do that. And so try to prove herself to Ethel that she can be a witch. But Ethel's like bullying, Oh, you're not a witch, mother, you're a horrible person, you can't do anything right. But then she turns into a pig. And then when teleported and transformed her into a pig, Miss Hardboom found out you turn her into a pig. I think she was a little impressed, but then she was but she wasn't impressed when uh Mildred said, I don't know how. Then she told Miss Bats that um, she wasn't going to be in class and she took, uh, took her. And she was laughed at. And she deserved it. You were picking you were picking on poor Mildred. You deserved that, Apple Hollow. Then when she took her to the library to get her healed and turn her back, and Apple was just being a mean, nasty pig. I'll get you for this, Mildred. I bet she was transformed back. And believe me, it was an embarrassing sight for her. Then it was next step. When the famous wizard warlock would come, the Grand High Wizard would come. They were all being excited that day, but then they stole a picture of him from Alpha Hollow, and everyone was having fun with it. Even this Hartman has a Harper's little crush, and she announced that on Halloween night, the Grand Wizard would be coming to arrive to watch the broom celebration and all that. And you'll all be watched by the Grand Wizard and other witches, so that would be the most popular to school. But oh, Ethel Hollow was picked to be part of it. But then she decided. I decided maybe Ed had Miss H Mildred Hubble to be in it. And so Mildred Hubble was like, "What?" And Miss Hubble was like, "Oh, that is very kind of you." Well, Mildred, are you aiming to succeed? And Mildred was very nervous at this. And the next day, the next night on Halloween, she set up the trap. Ethel Hollow to the room to cause the whole thing to fall apart, which I really hated it. A nasty piece of breath. And then the Grand Wizard came, Tim Curry. At that time, he was young and handsome, and when you expect, he was like, whoosh, whoosh, and all that. <clears throat> then, ultimately, he started. The, they started the room celebration. Unfortunately. Fo controller broom to make it do bad things. I noted, and they all fall together to the ground. And the Ramos was unimpressed, and Cackle and Miss Hardbroom were very, very disappointed. And Mildred, it was Mildred's fault. It was Fo Hollow that messed up the broom. And that night she felt like she was pathetic. She didn't matter to anyone. She took her cat and her boots and her stuff and her broom, and I'm going home. That night, that night, in the evening morning, as she was just, it's no use, Tabby, I'll never be a witch. I'm just pathetic. But then when she hears the scheming witches of Agatha, with the witches saying that they were going to cause some magic trouble, but then Mildred Hubble stand against them and turned them into turned the hags, the slags, the slugs. And as she went to climb, went to go back to the school, meanwhile, when all the girls were getting ready to get up in the morning, Ethel was being an arrogant fool, bragged about how she pranked poor Mildred, and unfortunately, they did not think it was funny. In the end, she was turned against me. The girls turned against her, saying, "How could you do that to poor ha, the poor, the poor Mildred? I could, you always pick on her. You always, and you ended up ruining our fun." So in the end, yeah, Ethel, how you suck ass. You're gonna get what you deserve. You spoiled little brat. I hate spoiled brats.
hate him as a kid. Even now I still do. And then as Mildred goes back to the school, Hardman car cars her and took her to Mil to Miss Hart to Miss Cackle. Miss Cackle said, Why would you ever do this, Mildred? I mean, leave him the school like that. But then she tried to convince her Russell and the hard boom said, No, I don't know word, Mildred. But then she says that I was I was outside and I found these witches, they were up to something. One of them looked like you. Her name was Agatha. And then Miss Cackle says, Really? That must be my twin sister Agatha. But then Miss Harbour's like, How can you be sure it's her? It was her because she said your name. And then she said, and Then Miss Harbour says, You know, I've always admired your powers trying to. Oh, come on, Harbour. You know from the get go that she's bad. And yet, you, you are, you are just, you are just a barbaric person. Serves you right back now, wait. So, Mildred Hubble would turn them back, open the box, and then, well, 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 you did turn them into snails. Impressive. Then Miss Cackle said, all right, which one of you is my sister? I'm on. I know you have pride, nurse, sis. She came out slowly, it's like, look at you, Agatha. You're always just a bad-tempered girl. Now, Mildred, you may turn them back. But I don't know if I could. Of course you can. You have marvelous potential. As Miss Hardman said, honestly, stuck up. So as she cast a spell and turned them all back to human. And then, oh, we're going to get you, little lady. We're going to hurt you. We're gonna, ah. And then she says, shut up, you guys. Miss Cuckoo says, you ruined a very important night. And you, I will deal with you later. Mildred, you may go back to your room and sleep. I will deal with them. As Mildred goes off with a cat, back to the room. Then she turned very ugly at her sister, but wakes back to Agatha room the late night. As she was sleeping the rest of the morning, then Maud, then Maud, then Maud Moonshine, well, actually, in the TV show, her name is Maud Moonshine. In this, her name is Maud Warlock. I'm sticking to Maud Moonshine. Maud Moonshine awakens Mildred and tells her, Come on, Mildred, you're late, come on, you're missing. So they all went to the ground hall, and Miss Cackle admitted that Witches who are gifted should be blessed, but witches who have done great deeds will be blessed as well. Mildred Hubble, for saving the school from my sister, Agatha, you shall you shall be known as a hero at school. And for the day, no, no school. And on that side, the Grand Wizard is there, giving an award to Cackle's, to Cackle's Academy's brightest student, Miss Harp. Miss Hubble, Mildred Hubble, and he was very proud, impressed with his pa with her powers and all that. And then he taught. Then he asked her, "Oh, what do you want to do today?" I was thinking about learning flying. Well, flying? Then I'll show you. Then he glided across the sky with Mildred, and all the girls went after watching him saying that, waving him as Apple Hobble was sour as a prune face. Yeah, you deserve it, Apple. You would have messed both breath. And then we hear the song again, and we see that um, Agatha and her friend lost their magic. And now, <laughs> we see the end of credits and the sun going up. And we see them flying off to the sun. So yes, this was a classic movie. This film was shot at, at Sir Michael's College at Tenen Bay Well it opened the closing song Growing Up Isn't Easy, sung by Bonnie Langwood. It was composed by Charlie Strove and delivered by Don Black. Writing Anything Can Happen on Halloween. The song was covered on British Strong Gate 2008. Then King composed the score along with My Little School. The television series was in on HBO Family 1980s, but also on Disney Channel during the Halloween seasons. I was able to watch it when I was six years old and I enjoyed it. After that, well, I started researching my witches, green stories, and horror stories. This movie got me into witches and magic and all that. And I couldn't help it. I love magic. <laughs> And tell you the truth, I grew up loving it. And, oh uh, boy. Uh oh, my horn! Where's my horn? Where's my horn? Okay. Oh boy. Alright, folks, I gotta go. My horn missed, disappeared, and reappeared sometimes. I'm thinking someone's doing a prank on me. Hey, mommy. Sally. In any case, I hope you guys enjoy this, and yes, there will be more reviews of these Halloween specials. 
Also, want to mention that if you guys want to check out the book, go watch, go read the Watch Witch, or go watch the TV series, the Watch Witch 1990, 1998th series. They also made another one too. Have a lovely night, everyone. <laughs>